From what I understand, you and Jed were dating for about four months. You had known that him going on The Bachelorette was a possibility, and then you ultimately knew that he was going to go on the show. And it seems the plan was for you two to continue dating once he got off the show, because you're saying he told you he only went on the show for his career. You know, it all it started, you know, just like any other couple, and probably three weeks into us dating, he came forward basically said, you know, I've been talking to my mom about this and, you know, I just don't think there's any way I can, you know, we can go forward. I kind of see where this is going and I don't feel right not giving you the chance to walk away. Like, you know, I have to be upfront about it. So I'm like, you know, okay, well, here's this person that I'm falling for really quickly. You know, we obviously have this great connection. In the grand scheme of things, we live in Nashville where people are doing reality shows and The Voice and American Idol and Music City and you know, all these things and you sign these contracts and it's all sort of hypothetical until, you know, it's casting, casting, casting goes on for months. Did you guys discuss, hey, I could really fall for this person? Well, I said you could really fall for this person. And, you know, he, this is a person that I'm very much in love with telling me, I love you. I'm not going to fall for her. So did so you I, have concerns about being in love with someone who you're saying was willing to go on a show and lie to another woman? You know, yeah. the, the thing is, it's just like, this is a very strange scenario and we're in a very interesting, you know, the entertainment business is not like, you know, I need to move to Arkansas for my career moves. You know, it's like, okay, this is a huge opportunity. And truly, I mean, look at what a platform it is. Obviously, I've looked back on this and there are so many, like I read text messages that I sent that I'm like, this, this is embarrassing. Why did I, like, how could I let myself be here? Like, how can I have let myself believe this? You fell in love with this person. So clearly you saw some good in him. So I'm going to ask you, do you think that if he has maybe told Hannah about this, we haven't seen all the show, maybe he told her about you too, and should she forgive him? I would hope so. I don't think that he's a bad person. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if his feelings just changed for me. I don't know if he fell in love with her. I don't know what the circumstances are necessarily. And I don't think he's a bad person for any of it. It solely, this was, you know, me coming forward. I had people reach. I never planned to come forward. I didn't want to be involved. I didn't want anything to do with the show. I have my own things going on. But when I have people reaching out saying my name has been brought up to them three times and they want the story and they're going to tell the story, I'm thinking, okay, well, you're going to tell the story without me. Me coming forward with this story or like my message with this is not in any way negative toward anyone or trying to be hurtful to anyone. Solely was... People were saying that they're going to tell my story, my story, me, real girl, my real life. Yeah. And I was going to not have any control of that. It just didn't really seem fair that nobody's going to stand up for me here. So hearing the emotion in your voice, it sounds like I'm just putting this out there. You tell me if I'm reading it wrong or right. But it sounds like what you're saying is that Jed hurt your feelings by not explaining things to you. But that your feelings were real, that at the time his feelings for you were real, and that you don't necessarily think he's a bad person, but some mistakes were made. Yeah, truly. I mean, I would not have fallen head over heels for someone that's a bad person. I mean, it's, and beyond that, she wouldn't have. If Hannah and Jed have ended up together at the end of this, how will you feel? That is, this is a person that I love that could just be engaged to just someone else, so... That's not easy, but you know, I hope if they are, I hope it's real and I hope it's right.